Okay, so finally we put Christmas lights and Christmas ornaments on our big family Christmas tree. So I'm gonna go show you guys really fast because I have like the cutest little ornaments and I really wanna show you guys. And I showed you guys my little baby mini Christmas tree. Anyways, yeah, let's go and take a look at my um, Christmas tree, the big Christmas tree. Bam. This is what it looks like. Boop. Okay, first ornament. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna die. My mom actually handmade this. And this is actually a picture of me. Isn't that ridiculous? I feel like I look so different. Let me know if you guys think I look like totally different. This was in, um, let's see, 2006, 2007. So, I believe I was in sixth grade. Yeah, this was my sixth grade picture. Look how little! Oh my gosh, I just think that's crazy. Another one is this really cute snowman one. One year me and my mom decided to make like little gift, Christmas gift baskets for anyone. For everyone. Well, not everyone, but you know, some of our friends. And so we homemade, homemade, handmade some like little snowflake Christmas ornaments. And I think it's really, really cute. So another one of my favorites is this one. I think this one is so cute. I don't know if you can tell, but inside this little house, there's actually like people in there. It's supposed to be a train station. You can get it like tickets and everything. But um, I just think it's so cute. I'm not sure where Maryville is, but it's supposed to be like a train station. And it's cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, talk about embarrassing photos. This is me. Um, I was probably like maybe one, maybe not even, no, I was probably younger than one. Look at my chunky face. I was so freaking chubby, you guys. Oh my god, <laughs> that's so funny. I love that ornament. Uh, we also have a little Christmas star thing at the top. And this is another one that I absolutely love. It's actually like a flashing light. And as you guys can probably tell, it goes to like a light on the porch like that. And then a light on the inside um, of like a couple right there. <laughs> I just think it's really cute. And this is our first Christmas together. I'm sure my parents probably got this, um, obviously, during their first Christmas. <laughs> um, but I really think it's so cute with the little lights flashing. And another one of my favorites is this, another homemade, like, ornament thing. But it has a picture of my cat on it. And I've had, this is the cat that I've had for around seven or eight years. Um, and re not recently, years ago, I was probably, uh, it was probably like four or five years ago, my cat passed away and it was really really hard on me um if you guys are like animal freaks like i am i get really really attached to any pets i have really really attached to pets so that was my first pet hardship i guess i ever experienced it was really really hard like oh i don't know that cat i was just i've been through like so much with that one particular animal um, so when he passed away, it was hard, but, um, he was one of my favorite pets, and he was really cute. His name was Big Kitty, so this is one of the last pictures, I think, we got of him before he died. Um, well, we actually don't know what happened to him. It's kind of sad, because he was an outdoor cat, and as you guys probably know, outdoor cats don't have a very long life expectancy compared to indoor cats. Whew, out of breath. So one day, we had like a routine, so like every day, every evening, we would come feed him and pet him um, and just, you know, hang out with him outside. And one day he didn't come home, so, you know, days went by, weeks went by, months went by, and obviously um, something happened to him, which is really, really sad. So we don't know for sure, but um, probably by now he passed away. So that's that story. On a lighter note, what's another picture I can show you guys? Okay, so this was my fifth grade picture. I don't know if you guys can see this very well because I have to reach up here, but look at little me, ew. I was so going through my awkward stage in these pictures. All right, so that is pretty much it. We just have a bunch of other like random freaking ornaments. I don't even know, we have so many ornaments. 
Um, so that's pretty much it for my Christmas tree. Also, this is my little advent calendar thing. I think that's what it's called. Um, and it's so, 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 so cute. Um, my mom every day, ever since I was little and I've had this, every day my mom puts a little treat, like, um, sometimes it's candy, can't, can't, oh, oh my god, oh my gosh, I found a chocolate. Oh, I'm so excited right now. That's hilarious. I was explaining to you guys that, like, my mom puts little candies and, like, little, little, like, um, notes and stuff every day in the advent calendar. <laughs> and I totally reached in there and I forgot a candy, I think, one day. So, yay, chocolate. Every day, I move the little, like, star over. So today is December 5th. Obviously, it's in December 5th. And then tomorrow, there'll be, like, a little little treat or a little note in there that my mom puts in there and then I take it out and I just think it's really really cute and I've had that since I was like five or six I think and every year it's just like a tradition for my mom to put like a little something cute um each day I really really like it so and I'm so excited I found a chocolate <laughs> anyways I hope you guys enjoyed a little mini house tour there's the Christmas tree in the background isn't it cute um a little house tour slash I don't know what it's called, a Christmas tree tour. Um, anyways, like I said before in videos, I'm definitely going to um, start, you know, vlogging more. So, yeah. I'll see you guys whatever I film next in my next clip. So, I'll talk to you guys later. So, I'm getting ready to leave for ROP. Um, I came home and I had a little snack. Let's hit the road, bitches. Yeah. I'm gonna go, oh, by the way, I have this little cord in my iPod, right? And it connects to my car, so it's really, really cool. I can plug my little iPod in, and this is the Nano. I've had this for, since, uh, like, eighth grade. I've had this for so long, and yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go drive, and I'm not gonna vlog because that is a dangerous maneuver. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs> So I just went to McDonald's, as you can probably tell. I'm addicted, okay? I have a problem, and I can't admit it. I love it. Driving to class, driving to class. This is a dangerous maneuver, y'all. And I really have to pee because I, I drank literally probably about like, oh, I don't know five large McDonald's sodas. So I'm trying to drive and like arrange my camera. Oh, that works out perfectly. Oh my gosh. Ah! Yay, so I made it home. Ew, <laughs> my dad is so creepy. Anyways, I'm gonna go finish. Let's see, I have math homework. I had two finals today. And yeah, these next two weeks, I have a bunch of finals. So I had a English um, in-class essay final for the book Hamlet. I'm not sure if you guys have to like read specific books, but for um, the English I'm in right now, um, we just finished reading Hamlet, which was freaking the worst book ever, but whatever. Um, so, but I understood the book. Like I didn't like the book, but it was like really easy to understand. So I think I did good on the essay. And then, okay, I need to get out of my car. It is so hot in here. And then I did a business finance essay, or not an essay, business finance final. And it's basically just like a math final. It was easy. Chocolate chip cookies. Hey, don't turn your back. Don't turn your Look back. Look at that pile. Right. I'm not gonna out. have any. I love those chocolate chips. Man, they just melt favorite, my favorite cookies. The homemade. We are original. Little Miss Betty Crocker up in here. Chocolate chip favorite. Getting ready to go to school. And it's like frozen outside. So every morning, um, well, for this past like week, I've had to go heat up my car. So like before I leave for school, I Ugh, this door's so hard to close. Whew. I have to go outside and warm up my car because it's pretty much frozen. Um, and I don't know if you guys have a car. 
you know that when it's frozen, you're not supposed to like roll down the windows or um, like put water on it or the glass will crack. So um, see how frozen my car is? Look at this. That's ridiculous. That's like freaking frozen. It's chilly out. So yeah, I have to go out like warm up my car, put the defroster on. It's Thursday and I love Thursdays because I, my school, um, every single Thursday my school starts an hour later. It's called Late Start Thursday. Um, I don't know, do you guys have something like that at your school? But yeah, every Thursday it starts instead of eight, it starts at nine. So that's nice, I get to sleep in for another hour. Um, even though most times I don't normally sleep in, but still, this is my lunch. Grapes, sun-made fruit bites. I love these, these are so good. And dried fruit is really, really healthy. So I recommend these if you guys um, like dried fruit. I really, really like these. Let's see what it has. It has California raisins, succulent cranberries, apples, apricots, peaches. So healthy and then also a couple Hershey Kisses because me and my chocolate, you know, we're like this. Okay, so while my car is still trying to warm up, um, and I'm gonna be late for school. School starts in 10 minutes and with traffic, it's about a 20 minute drive. So I already know I'm gonna be late, but whatever. Um, I have to tell you guys about my traumatic story last night. Okay, so I tweeted last night that Forever 21 was having like a huge, um, they called it like a yellow tag sale, and they had free shipping on anything. You could do any purchase and it would be free shipping, and I like live for those kind of deals. I love those kind of deals that says like, you know, you don't have to spend a certain amount of, um, you know, money. It's like spend 50, get free shipping, like what, you know. I'm not gonna do that, but um, it was like, buy anything, get free shipping. And so I was only buying two things. I bought a pair of leggings that I've been really needing, and I bought an infinity scarf. And um, if you guys do not know, I've been searching for the infinity scarves, like circle scarves, you know the scarves that are like connected for like the longest time. So finally I found one, right? And I go to check out and freaking the scarf's gone. It was just out of stock all of a sudden. I was so mad and it was on sale for $4. I cannot find scarves anywhere for $4 because scarves run for like, I don't know, like $20 these days. So as I back up, um, so yeah, I was pretty pissed off, but I still got one thing. I just got a pair of leggings, which I've been needing, so I am, Again, on the hunt for an infinity scarf. So yeah, that was my traumatic event. Forever 21, you're you're making me mad right now. So, finished with school, and it is 12 o'clock right now. And I need to get going because I'm probably going to be late to um, to my medical assistant class. So let's hit the road. I just had a final. I had a Hamlet final because we just read the book Hamlet in English, so I just had a freaking final on it, and I pretty much BS the whole final. So, yeah, I've seen that class, so I'm kind of nervous. Like, I really need to either get a C or better because I cannot have a D. Um, so, okay, I need to go because I'm gonna be late. I'm always late. Always late. I don't know why. I'm always late.